Hey, hey, it is that time again. I have lots of little stuff to ship this time. I'm going to tell you what sold, how much it sold for, and uh, you get to watch me ship it. So let's get ship done. Let's go. Today I have 14 things to ship. Now I don't normally use packing slips because it is ink and paper, which is kind of pricey. Um, but because I have 14 things and I want to keep things straight and organized, I have printed out packing slips for this shipping day. Uh, so I'm going to get started and uh, I'm going to go in the order of my packing slips. So let's go. First, I have this really cool, gotta hide all my customer information. Uh, this is a big old sewing bag. This thing is awesome. It is quilted. I think I picked this up at a yard sale um, a while back and it was, oh, it was a couple bucks. Um, I've had it for a little while. I couldn't believe that it hasn't sold because it's truly awesome. And I am pretty darn sure the person who got this is going to be very happy with it. Let me just tuck my handles in there. Bada bing, bada boom. This folds up. It's all cloth. And it's going to go into a poly, poly bag. Love my poly bags. And it sold for, let me look at my packing slip, uh, $15 is what I ended up letting it go for on an offer. So I took a $15 offer, which is about half price of what I had it listed for. Because I thought, wow, it's way more amazing than that. But you know what? It's okay. I still made a good profit. And that is the key in this business, is even when you have to discount, if it doesn't sell at your first price, you still make enough money to make it worthwhile to have done all this work. And make no mistake, this is work. And after all that, see, here I go. This is what I do. I forget to put the packing slip in. Okay, I'm not going to open this one back up. We're just going to go with it. And uh, I'm going to try not to do that on the next one. All right. Next, we have a little Asian pear-shaped salt and pepper. Now, I did a bunch of auctions this week. Uh, these are no exception. I started these, I think it's $7.99 or no. These might have sold on an offer to watcher because these were already discounted. And then I took a little more off. So they sold for $7.50. And you can see one's missing a, the stopper in the bottom. So that's a pretty decent price for these. Um, they paid $5.45 to ship. So let's say if I was doing like a free shipping listing, they would have sold, that would be $12.95, basically. Um, so let me bubble wrap those. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to customize my bubble wrap here because they don't need a full piece each. I'm going to kind of do this and kind of do this. Fold it in there. Tape it up. And you'll hear me say often that I don't want to sell things for less than 20 bucks. And it's true. I really don't. Because um, it takes just as much time to package up and go through the whole shipping process of something that sold for $7 as it does for something that sold for $27. So I really, really try to keep my time working on those bigger items. But in this case, I'm just kind of trying to move some things and get it done. Now, I'm going to make sure my packing slip is ready this time. Okay, these are going in the little 4x4x4. Four four four. 
I made the boxes up ahead of time to save a little time. I need to just throw a few peanuts in there. Like so, like so. These are going first class and not much chance of them getting smashed. All right, there we go. Packing slip on the top, like so. If you're going to use a packing slip, just make sure it's up on the top of your item. All right, let's tape it up. And there we go. Now, I have to remember to not talk while I'm taping so that my son can edit and, and do that little quick thing that he does. By the way, my son Noah is doing all the editing of my shipping videos now. So give me a thumbs up down there if you think he's doing a good job. All right, next we have, oh, the little blown glass owl. A little bidding war ensued on this guy. Um, I started these auctions at $9.99, but look how sweet this little guy is. Look at him. I don't even know where I got all these little owls. I think I did I pick them up at a thrift store? I don't even, or a, was it the antique mall? I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but yep, there he is. He sold for $13.50. So let's get him bubble wrapped. Now I'm going to use a whole sheet of bubble wrap on him and I probably will not need to even use any peanuts in this box because this should pretty much take up the box and protect him. Let's see. He's also going to get one of these little four by fours. Yeah, you know what? He still needs a couple pieces of peanuts just so he doesn't like flop around in here. So I'm going to go do that. That's what the peanuts are doing. They're just keeping him right where he needs to be in the box. All right, and I'll tape him up. All right, a little blown glass owl. Oh, yes, I do toss my packages across the floor. That's my confidence. That's my, if I can't do that without cringing, I need to rethink how I packaged it. But if I can just toss it across the floor, very confidently, I know it's good to go. All right. Let's see what's next. Ah, the dragonfly trinket box believe I got, I don't remember if this was an offer or if it was full price. It actually might have even been full price. Little dragonfly, metal trinket box. Ba -da -da -dum. You know what? I'm feeling some stickiness on this, so I'm going to go clean that up real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, because I got that wet while I was cleaning it, it's going to have to dry before I can do that one. So we'll put that one aside. And we will move on to the little primitive pottery owl whistle. I'm not actually going to put my mouth on it. Um, as you can see, he's a little owl. He's a little whistle. I ran him at auction, $9.99 starting price, and that is what he sold for. So we're going to get him packaged up with a little bubble first. one just a couple of peanuts just to hold him in place in the box and he'll be good to go there we go and packing slip on top which adds a little filler too Whew, that was not a pleasant sound all right let's tape it up and who do we have next next we have arg we have the pirate. The pirate. Did I just do a German pirate? I think I just did a German pirate. The pirate. The pirate of the Caribbean. I don't know. It's late. All I'm doing this. Forgive me. All right. I bought a bunch of these guys from an auction. They are new with tags. They came from World Market. And uh, he sold for 
$11.24 on an offer to watcher. So let's bubble that guy up. He is resin, so he's not super breakable, but you know, he could chip. I'm going to put him in this little guy. These are, what size are these? Four, six by four by four. I love the six by four by fours. And again, he needs just a few peanuts to hold him into place. And look at this guy, and it's got me thinking about Disneyland and the Pirates of the Caribbean and how sad I am that Disneyland is still not open. And they just laid off thousands of people, um, including my brother. My brother, who has worked there for 40 years. Actually, they let him retire. They let him retire with his benefits. Thank goodness. Uh, he was only there part-time. Now he will. He's worked his way up from, he started out in Coca-Cola Terrace when he was 16 years old. And he worked his way through when he was going through college and accounting. He got to do cost accounting, um, and then he moved himself up to like in high up in the finance department, and he worked at Burbank Studios, and then he ran the electrical parade um, part time, um, and he uh, was he was a ride operator on Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion were the two rides that he did, and um, I've got some really cool pictures of him like behind the scenes. And then he ran the electrical parade. That was his last thing he did. He was one of the guys with the walkie talkies, like guiding the floats, but he also got to drive the floats sometimes. So, so if you saw the electrical parade, you might've seen my brother. Okay, zip pirate. I keep wanting to do it. Zip pirate, zip pirate. Okay. Zip pirate is done. Next. We have our little Appaloosa salt and pepper shakers. Now these were really cool. These also were auctioned off. Uh, they sold for $20.50 on a little bidding war. I've never seen any like this. Very cool. Um, her, little, her little corky thing is up in there, but no marks on the bottom. I just, they're just so adorable. Um, so let me get some bubble for those. And again, I'm going to customize this just a little bit because the little one doesn't need as much bubble as the big one. I'll give her a little bubble. And when you do that, you got to make sure all the sides are done so it doesn't slip out of the bubbles. Slipping out of the bubbles. No fun. Just saying. All right. <laughs> there we go. It's so funny. My dogs, you can't see them right now, but they are waiting patiently in the doorway, knowing that when I finish this shenanigans, they're going to get fed. And so they're just laying there waiting. And again, we're going to use a little bit of peanuts in the box. Go. We put our packing slip in there. Boom. Woo. And then let's tape it up. Dogs heard something. We're gonna have to go close that door if they don't knock it off. Okay. Apple. Okie dokie, what is next? We've got the little miniature storyteller figurines. These sold for opening bid of $9.99. You might have seen me buy these on one of my Thrift With Me adventures. Uh, these were, I found these at Salvation Army. So you might remember me doing that. Look at these, how cute the little, little details are on these. Um, and again, $10. We'll take it for something like that. And again, I'm going to customize my little bubbles here. Oh, 
All right. And again, they're going to go in that same size box. So four by four by four. We're going to throw some peanuts in there. Okay. Not a ton, just enough. Put our packing slip. Oop, come on. There we go. And let's tape it up. Done. Moving right along. Next, we have the Hallmark Angel Tree Topper. A lot of you knew what this was when I picked it up at a Goodwill. She is from what year? 1970s. Is she marked on the bottom? 19? No, I was told she was 1970s. Then I verified that with other ones that I found. There's the bottom. She is just marked Hallmark Cards Inc. on the bottom. And uh, she's plastic. She sold for $14.99 on a counter offer. I think I was offered $11.99 and I countered at $14.99 and that was accepted. So let's give her some bubble. And she's going to go, I actually found a nice little box for her because she's going to go first class. This box is in 8 by 6 by 4 I think I'm actually going to order some of these. I got this from another order from uh, that I got from someone else and I really like this size so I think this is going to be what I use my <gasps> shipping coupon for oh you guys if you have an eBay store subscription that is um um the basic or above you have your quarterly coupon go use it all right let's get you some packing peanuts there we go packing slip on top and I made it so that I do have to squish those peanuts down as usual. And let's tape it up. All right, Angel is ready to go. I still have a barking dog in the background. Don't know if you can hear her. That's my old lady Rottweiler doing her job. Okay, this is a row pottery vase. You know, it's it was interesting. I picked it up because of the pink. I really liked the pink matte clay glaze. And uh, there's the mark on that. And then it's got the shiny glaze on the top with again, the matte, like it was just interesting. Um, I sold this for $19.99 on a, I think it was an offer. Pretty sure it was an, I really need to keep better track of these things for you. Pretty sure it was an offer. Yes. Okay. We're going to wrap that up. I get a lot of people asking me why I don't tell you what I paid for the piece. And it's honestly, it's because I don't remember, but I can tell you that I pay prices that allow for me to, at the very end, if I have to liquidate, that I'm still going to make some money on my items. Uh, so my dogs are going crazy. Um, so I don't pay a whole lot for something that I know I'm going to sell for, for 15 or $20. That's kind of my rule of thumb. And this is going to go in the shoe box. I restocked my shoe boxes. You can see that's going to fit nicely down in there. I just got to go give it some peanuts. There we go. Packing slip on top. This is going to go priority. So let's tape it up. There we go. Next, we have a very awesome coffee mug. This coffee mug sold for $19.99. And I am going to put it in a box. I'm not going to try to do this one in a padded flat rate um, because if they did spend 20 bucks on it. It says, what if you woke up today with 
only the things you thanked God for yesterday. Whoa. Um, I try to be really good about making sure that I would have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I know, and my personal belief is that everything that I have, I got to thank him for that. And uh, I feel pretty darn blessed. I am really sorry about the barking dogs in the background. I don't know how much of that you can hear, but I may have to go uh, figure out what they're barking at. Maybe I got a critter in the backyard or something. All right, we're going to use a number four. I'm going to get it peanutted up. Peanutted up. And there we go. Put our pack and slip on top. We're going to tape it shut. Done. All right. forgot what I put in there for a second. Okay. Getting down to the wire. Ah, the mid-century Culver highball glasses. Sold these for $20 on an offer. There you go. So cool. So mid-century. Um, I had just picked these up recently at the vintage market that I went to. I loved them. I wish there had been four. Four always sells better in these mid-century glasses than two does, but hey, two doesn't do too bad either. going to go in a number four, I believe. Check it out. See. Yeah, you know what? I think, I think we're going to upgrade these to a shoebox. Because a shoebox, I can stack them like one on top of the other. Yeah, that's much safer. Let's do that. Let's go get some peanuts. Okay, dokie. Oh, I almost forgot my packing slip. Gonna put that on top and then close it up. And there we go. It's not about it being pretty. It's about getting it shipped. And again, if you can't toss, toss it across the floor, don't ship it. All right. Next, we have the piggy bank. Okay, she's just a cute little made in Taiwan. Um, she's vintage, but she's not super old, and she's just super cute. And there, she's even got a little, a little ding on her little nose there. I'm getting stuff. It wasn't like that when I bought it, and I'm getting a little concerned that perhaps when it's moving from room to room around here. Bad stuff is happening. So I actually spent quite a bit of time yesterday reorganizing my garage inventory, getting a little bit under control, um, getting all of my listed stuff out of my eBay room, and I'm almost ready to do a tour video for you guys. So if that is something you would like, let me know in the comments. Say tour, please. Tour, please. Um, and I will make that happen. But honestly, it's not, it's not been conducive of a tour. It's been a little chaotic. I will confess. I will confess. I think she can fit in a number four. Let's see. If little piggy. Does that give her enough room? I do believe it does. Because look, I can bounce her around all sides, which means I can get peanuts in there. All right, let's do that. And did I tell you what she sold for? She sold for... $12.50. I know Noah's probably editing going, uh-oh, mom did not say how much she got for her. But there it is. 
12 bitty for the piggy. And you'll notice I distorted the clock just a little bit so that I can get those peanuts in there the way they need to go. And piggy is done. And yes, I feel good about not breaking the other thing on the table. <laughs> okay, across the floor she goes. There she went. Yes, this little guy. It sounded worse than it is, trust me. It was just a little lid rattling on this beautiful ginger jar with the bird on it. Um, it is made in China. And uh, somebody told me this is called, wait, I think I even put it in the title, that it is an incense base. An incense base. It has something to do with the little this on the top. This on the top of the lid. Um, I'm not sure, but well, for whatever reason, it sold for $22.49 on an offer to watcher. Let's wrap that up. Now I always wrap my lids separately. Don't want lids dinging around on stuff. And then we'll wrap this up. Uh -oh. Get off of there. All right, we're good. And then I will put the lid back on top and I'm going to tape it back on top. And the reason for that is that I don't want it getting, well, you know what? I don't want it getting lost in the box, but I also want to make sure it fits in the box that way. So the box that I am choosing for that is an eight by eight by eight. So let's first make sure if I put that lid, mm, no, I might have to put the lid next to it. What to do? No, I think I'll put the lid. I will put the lid on top. Okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. So yes, I am going to tape that. Okay. Stay. Stay. I am going to do that. And now let's go get some peanuts. And it's like you say, oh, but Danny, that's not totally covered up with peanuts. But I made that bubble wrap so thick on that lid the, that actually acts as peanuts. And now we squish this down. Plus, you got two layers of cardboard for the flaps, and that's pretty darn protected. Okay. Now you might think we're done, but no, we're not done. I have to go get one more thing. The dragonfly trinket box. Now, what did I do with your packing slip? It's right here. Dragonfly trinket box sold for $20. And um, I think that was on an offer to watcher. I think. I think I might have given 25% off. Yes. And you can see, uh-oh, we still have a little moisture in that bottom. So I'm going to hold it over here on my light for a second. And I'm going to let it dry. Wow, because the light, this light is really, really hot. Okay, we're dry now. I'm going to try to use a little more bubble wrap than I normally would so that it adds as cushioning in the box and I don't really need to use peanuts. We're going to see if that works because this is metal. It's not breakable and I'm hoping it fits in the box that I chose for it now that I look at it. Ooh. It'll be a tight squeeze, I think. I thought I tested it beforehand. We'll find out. It's the 4 by 4 by 4 Ooh, I think the bubble wrap might have made it not go in this box. No! Hold on. Stand by. Stand by for bubble wrap. 
reconfiguration. Oh, it has to be the last one, huh? So we're going to do that. Ha, 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 ha. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And again, this isn't breakable, so I'm not worried about it getting mushy smashed. Mushy smashed. Is that a word? I like it. Mushy smashed. It's my word now. No mushy smash. No mushy smash. Okay, one last tape job and we are about done. And voila, the dragonfly is done. And that is our shipping for the day. I'm gonna go schedule the pickup so that it all gets picked up off of my porch tomorrow. And uh, then I'm gonna go kick my feet up for the rest of the night. So with that, hey, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to know when I either upload a new video or I go live, which I do about twice a week, hit the little bell and say all, and it'll tell you when I'm live and when I upload a new video. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.